Uh, welcome to the show, Thomas Brody Sangster. Hello. Hello, hello. Hi. Hi. Zoo Radio, I'm all by myself. Uh, so congratulations to you. I mean, you work, I, like, the list of credits, you work all the time. Um, I, 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 I mean, I've been, I've been going quite a long time, but I try and make sure that I leave enough space to get on with, you know, normal life as well. Life, yeah. life as well. But I do love what I do. Yeah, yeah and, I'm lucky to do and it. why wouldn't you? Uh, the Artful Dodger is your new show. It kicks off on Disney Plus on the Wednesday, the seventeenth. So this is such a clever idea. So it's what is it? Fifteen years after the end of Oliver Twist. Yes, exactly. Yeah, um, and it takes place in Australia, so it's set in Australia. A lot of criminals got sent out to Australia from England. Um, and it's 15 years later, and uh, he's kind of... He, uh, the Artful Dodger, or Jack Dawkins, has uh, tried to set up a new life for himself, and he becomes a surgeon. And surgery back then is pretty miserable. Um, and it's about kind of having a, a, a like a double life between letting his uh, criminal life go and um, trying to sort out a kind of a, a nicer life for himself, but then he's haunted by Fagan, who comes and uh, tries to drag him back. I know, and David Thewlis. I mean, it's very posh. Oh yeah, no, he's great. Yeah, um, uh, he d- he doesn't do a posh accent for. No, no, um... <laughs> I meant I meant as in our posh booking. Yes. Yeah, you know, they didn't just go. You know, oh, anyone can do oh. that. No, David Thewlis and Tim Minchin's in it as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, he's no, got a great cast. And like, oh, because I'm an idiot. Like how. <laughs> How historically accurate is this? I mean, where did surgeons get no money? Uh, yes, um, or rather, no, no, they didn't. Um, and uh, we, we tried to be pretty accurate with the surgery. Obviously, we, you know, it's not proper Dickensian. It, it, it is a heightened world. It's very colourful, um, and that's intentional. It's it's a fun romp. You know, um, that's kind of the reason why I wanted to do it. Um, I thought the world could do with a bit more fun in the world. Yeah. But we do, uh, where we can, we try to be as accurate as possible. And we would talk to surgeons about the, the actual procedures involved um, and equipment and, um, well, very little equipment they had back then. It's quite gory. <laughs> Yeah, we we had to turn it down a bit because it was there were the special effects department really really got into it. <laughs> Look, the whole bowel can come out. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, and so it's kind of a, a crime caper because you're trying to get money, mm-hmm. but it's also a love story. Yes, it basically the whole thing I think of is as a as a love story. I think. Uh, you know, Jack was a was an orphan, and the only person that ever showed him any love was Fagan. Brought him into his gang of boys and um, and betrayed him. And um, and I think uh, Dodge is kind of constantly looking for for love, but is also terrified of it at the same time. Um, so it's uh, yeah, it's it's a fun um, uh, heisty kind of criminal show, but it's also got elements of, yeah. of romance. Uh, how too. long were you out in Australia for? About six months. Nice though, because their summer, right? For their summer, I swapped our winter for their summer, which is which is lovely. Always a bright thing to do. Yes. And has anyone tried to do this before? Because it seems like such an obvious thing to do, to 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 continue the story of the Awful Doctor. Um, there, I mean, there's lots of ver- versions of Oliver, obviously. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and I think they've played around with, um, with. I think I don't know whether they've done like a fifteen years in it. You know, I don't think they have. It's smart, as far though, as isn't I'm it? Aware. Yeah. yeah, it's a really yeah. yeah, yeah when you when you watch it, you kind of think, oh, why 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 has no one done this before? <laughs> it's such a clever thing to do, particularly that Australian thing. Where did it? Where did the the idea generate from? Did it come from Australia? The idea. Um, it came from um a uh, 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 a wonderful man called um, James McNamara who uh, who who studied eighteenth century eighteen uh, hundreds surgery at Cambridge. Um, so he's very well qualified to write this, and um, he just wanted to make this this show. And um, he's also half Australian, and wanted to kind of mash the two together and um, put set, you know, something very very British. We think of Dickens as being dark streets in London and yeah, yeah, know, yeah. filthy and smoky, but then throw it into Australia with these, you know, big bright blue skies and kind of everything's kind of sweaty and um, uh, and dark, but in a very different way. And also, presumably, because it's Australia and it's it's very early Australia, things are you know in terms of medical things, they're even are they worse there? Would it? Yes, yeah, yeah. It took a long time for medical discoveries to make its way uh, <laughs> over there. But then you have your wonderkind. Is it M- Maya? Do we say Maya Mitchell? Maya, Maya Mitchell. Maya yes. Mitchell. She plays Lady Belle Fox, who's uh, who's a kind of a wonderkind. Yeah, she represents the the kind of the higher echelons of society, and um, and Dodger kind of comes from the 
dirt and kind of re resents that, you know, class structure. Um, but realizes that, you know, sh her passion is to, is the same as his, is to, to help people, really. Um, and uh, I think she, she does a great job at um, kind of representing two sides to the kind of the same coin, really. And then yeah. Fagan represents you know, the, the, the extreme opposite. Yeah. Uh, but it's very twisty turny and it's very kind of like hooky. It's kind of, you know, as you say, it's kind of, it's rompy, but uh, but yeah, with a bit of substance behind it. Yeah, yeah good. It's, it's fascinating with someone like you, you meet an actor like you, who you seem to just do hits. You just seem to be in, you know. I, I, I specialise in those, yes. I well, try like, to aim for those always. Well, it is kind of a, an <laughs> odd thing. Is that you? Is that your gut instinct kind of going, yes, I'll do this and, and oh, look at me, I've picked another winner? Or is it people around? you being clever um <clears throat> uh, I, I don't know it's always hard to know what what show's going to do what or what you know you can come up with a great idea that doesn't mean that it's actually going to work in principle it you have to read something figure out if you could do it and 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 then you rely a huge amount on who else gets cast or what the crew's like the directors you know it's a huge collaboration that yeah. makes something good or not and then you've got to sell it and make sure that it comes out at the right time for the world to want that kind of thing. So yeah. it's 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 kind of, I suppose, I, I think of it as being more from the gut because how can you ever predict anything like that? I always think that must be the terrifying bit of an actor, that you get a job and you go, oh, yeah, I want to do that. But then you're trapped on a set for months with these people. <laughs> yeah. So, like, it, so it <laughs> yeah, is kind of, fingers crossed. <laughs> well, yeah, it is a bit like that. Yeah, it is a bit like that. But then you do, you form these like um, very intense relationships very, very quickly that then kind of disperse. And I don't think that means that they don't mean anything. Um, you just kind of, you, it, it's fun because you're all brought together and you all have this very intense moment in time where you focus and all try to just make this world feel like reality or have some kind of connection to reality. And then you throw it off in the world and hope it connects with people. And that, I think that's kind of magical. And those relationships you make, so like Anna Taylor Joy or something that you worked with in the Queen's Gambit, if you bump into her in the street, is it like, oh, wow, is it like an amazing thing because you, you went through all that together? Or is it just kind of like, hi? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's a, yeah, no, absolutely. Um, so you I, pick up those relationships again? I, yeah, completely, completely. Because you, you have a shared... Uh, memory you have a shared experience that um, no one else does um, so no I, I, I completely and I, I got on very well with her too so good good <laughs> I, I, I wasn't asking but uh, and because you started as you were started so young you were a little boy did you has there been a bit in your life where you took a gap where you kind of went I, I shall I just do some homework now or did, <laughs> did, have, you, have you worked consistently all the way through I was like looking at the dates seeing is right, there a gap okay, yeah. there doesn't seem to be a gap is there not? It doesn't seem to be. I mean, when did when did you because st stick of the dump was that your very <laughs> first thing? Uh, no, my very very first thing was a, a, a TV film called Station Jim. It's not even on here. Is it not? No, oh. no, we didn't. Uh, Station Jim didn't make it. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's how I got love actually. Oh really? Did yeah. You that? Yeah. Oh okay. So so was and was stick of the dump before love actually or love actually happened after that? Um. Hmm. No, Stick of the Dump was before Love, actually. Oh, OK. And, I believe. And that, you know, because of the, the, that movie and everything, uh, did, and you're a little boy, do people kind of give you a talk and kind of go, OK, things are going to be different now, or did you just roll with the punches because you were young and you didn't know any different? I didn't. I didn't know. I, I, I had no idea what was going on, really. Um, OK. I had, to, I had to ask one of the runners, like, is the film going to come out in the cinemas? I, I had no idea, really. Um, I, it was just another job. It'd yeah. be quite fun. Yeah. Um, big cast, something different. I liked the director. He seemed very nice. So I think it would be quite fun. Yeah. Um, and then you know, I had the read through all this, th th these amazing faces kind of walked through the door. And I realised, oh, that, I think this is going to be quite a quite a big film. But, I mean, no one predicted that it would, would have the legs that it does No, have exactly. Now. That's what I was just going to say to you. No one could have known no. that people, it would still be a favourite movie, people would watch it every year, all that sort of stuff. I mean, that's... No, it did It did well when it came out, but it. I think it, it did better in DVD and then and, and, and reruns on, on TV every Christmas. It became like a kind of a, almost a kind of cult Christmas movie afterwards. Yeah. And can you bear it 
like if you if you walk part if you're walking into a room <laughs> does, does it kind of make your blood run cold when you see it <laughs> no 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 it doesn't i mean it's a, you know it's a it's a silly but really fun film that's based around love i mean it's yeah, it's, yeah, a, yeah. it's a lovely film um but it i got i I got a flight back around Christmas time once and I remember going to the toilet and as I walked back to my seat, <laughs> half the plane <laughs> were watching like, actually. Like, and I could see it in the back of the headrests. <laughs> and also, I mean, I guess it's it's lovely that you still look so young, but you are still a uh, weirdly recognisable. <laughs> I still get recognised for love actually all the time, yeah. for I, I'm 33 now and I was 12. Get out of town. You're 33. Yeah. Let's play a record. Uh, <laughs> that's, oh, I had no idea you were 33 I imagined you were in your 20s But actually it makes sense Looking at the dates <laughs> As I as I added up in my Car- Carol Vorderman head uh, Yeah that does to make total sense Wow that's incredible um, And uh, so when uh, The Artful Dodger comes out It's left presumably so that there could be More Artful Dodger Yes it is It is Okay it is. But you don't know yet. I don't know yet. I haven't, okay. I, no, I haven't heard yet. Okay. We'll see. Virgin listeners will decide. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if they're Disney Plus viewers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause, exactly. Yeah. Because how does that... Do they... Do you meet people from Disney or are you very kind of divorced from all of that? Um, I mean, they c- come to set every now and again and we're informed that <laughs> you know, the Disney bosses are on set um, and everyone kind of stands up a little straighter. But, I mean, no. 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 Mm, okay. Well, they they need it because the, the mouse is out of copyright now, isn't he? Is he? Yeah, Mickey Mouse. I think the end of the last year is out of copyright. So now there's like you know Mickey Mouse slasher movies coming and Mickey Mouse <laughs> porn and all sorts. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah, no, yeah, that's how old Mickey Mouse is. Wow. So they need the Artful Dodger. That's all. That's all no, I'm right, saying. Okay, yeah. right. Yeah, so yeah, you yeah. Hang on in there. It's <laughs> happening for you. 